a professor of radiation oncology at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California, who will discuss the findings from a phase three study of adjuvant docetaxel chemotherapy added to standard hormone and radiation therapy for men with localized high-risk prostate cancer. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Sandler. Thank you, uh, thank you, Dr. Dazan, and I'd like to also uh, uh, thank uh, Dr. Charles Ryan for being here as a subject expert and a colleague in the management of men with prostate cancer. Uh, as far as background goes, locally advanced or high-risk localized prostate cancer has a relatively poor prognosis among men with prostate cancer. Standard ma management often uses radiotherapy and long-term hormone therapy of two to three years uh, duration. Improvements in local control and improvements uh, in systemic control with better systemic therapies are likely to be beneficial for this poor risk patient population. Our hypothesis when we started this study a number of years ago was the chemotherapy using docetaxel, a chemotherapy known to be beneficial in metastatic hormone resistant cancer would improve outcomes in non-metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer. We designed this study, RTOG0521, an NCI CTEP sponsored uh, trial, along with support from Sanofi. The um, patients who were enrolled in this study were high risk prostate cancer patients. And this is actually a subset of very high risk prostate cancer patients, as some of the earliest high risk prostate cancer patients were excluded. Patients were randomized to ARM1 standard treatment hormone therapy for 24 months and radiotherapy, and ARM2, the experimental arm, which was androgen suppression for two years, external radiation, and docetaxel beginning four weeks after the completion of radiation therapy and continuing for six cycles. Um, the, the methods, um, we uh, enrolled 612 patients um, over uh, a four and a half year period. Um, 563 were ultimately determined to be eligible. The primary endpoint was overall survival. The study was designed to detect an improvement in the four-year overall survival rate from 86 to 93%, which was a 51% relative reduction in the yearly death rate. Under a one-sided significance level of 0.05 and 90% power, at least 78 deaths were required to perform the primary endpoint analysis. So the results, um, four-year overall survival was 89% without docetaxel and 93% with docetaxel, a p-value 0.04. So a statistically significant improvement in overall survival observed um, with a median follow-up of approximately five years. Additionally, we did uh, also observe a reduction in the incidence of distant metastasis and other secondary endpoints as well, which for, um, for time purposes I'm not showing today. This data will be presented tomorrow morning. In conclusion, for the first time, improvement in overall survival was observed with tolerable adjuvant chemotherapy for localized high-risk hormone-sensitive prostate cancer. The potential role of docetaxel in hormone-sensitive prostate cancer is consistent with and supported by our data and other studies such as Stampede, which will be presented tomorrow, and Charted, which was presented here last year. This analysis with a four-year endpoint is relatively early, and additional follow-up will likely be further enlightening. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sandler. I, I believe these results are uh, clinically relevant and that they come from a federally funded clinical trial is also incredibly important. Uh, the implications are wide, especially for men diagnosed with high risk, locally advanced prostate cancer.